what's up guys take care back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can live stream with your mobile device using streamlabs so actually i'm making this video again because streamlabs has been updated quite a few times in the past couple months and it has changed a lot seriously a lot a lot of things has changed so i'm going to show you again in a very simple way how you can live stream so watch it very carefully because these changes are going to impact a lot of things so first of all so when you open streamlabs for the very first time you're going to see the screen over here that says how you are going to live stream so first option is stream through your phone's physical camera and then broadcast your screen so we'll go this with first and you have to enable your mic and your camera of course then with this you can choose ask app not to track then you have to enable notifications once you're over with this you will be in the default page of streamlabs so after setting up the basics you have to set up the platform where you want to stream on so you have to do is just tap go live down below at the center and then choose select a platform and connect an account it says connect first account so i'm going to use youtube so i will tap login besides youtube and then i will tap youtube again over here so now that we have set up our streaming platform we are ready to go as you can see i have logged in through my own channel and now we are directly going to start the stream we will just capture our screen so how you can do is you can tap those two parallel lines at the top left side of the screen over here then you can tap screen capture you can select your platform here then you have to create an event now of course you have to name an event so as for me i'm going to use test stream labs all right and now you have to do is press save and then it will start loading so when you start to stream your screen for the first time it will show you that widgets are not available during your live stream and it won't appear so to start the live stream you have to go in the control center and long press on this screen recording button and scroll down wherever you can see streamlabs tap on streamlabs and then start broadcast and about the widgets of course it won't show in your screen capture and I will show you in the next video how you can do that because it requires a separate camera, a separate device. So now we are live and now we are going to check this out on my own channel. So here we are in the YouTube app and we have to just refresh. And yeah, there you have it. The test stream labs stream is now live. Opening it, you will be able to see that everything I have done is right in front of you it's that easy to stream your screen now there you have it so now that I have shown you how to live stream your screen I'm going to show you now how you can live stream with your phone's physical camera so go to this screen and tap go live choose your platform over here and then create an event and add a description so once you have done that you can just tap go live so once you are live, you are going to monitor everything right on the screen. So one sec. All right. Now, as you can see, you will see a stop button over here. And that means the live stream has started. You can see everything like how many people are watching the time, the frames per second and your internet speed over the live streaming session and even the name of your stream. So let's check this again on my channel. So I'm here on my channel all right so all right as you can see there after refreshing as you can see there my stream another test is on now it's live it's really that simple actually you know we had some kind of error like broadcast null errors previously with streamlabs but i haven't encountered anything like that now so it's really easy if you encounter any kind of problem with streamlabs Feel free to ask in the comments i am going to reply every single one of you all right so there's one last thing to show you that is go to account settings and you will see an option called custom rtmp server you can also live stream using this 
so all you have to just do is just paste your RTMP server URL and your stream key I will show you how to do this I have a video made already so I will link it in the description down below so what it really means it is real-time messaging protocol and it enables some smooth transmission of increased amount of data so that means you will be able to live stream with more efficiency that's all so there you have it all right now there's a catch in the streamlabs i know none of you are going to like this so as you can see streamlabs has introduced some membership thing and it's real expensive so like multi-stream adding themes to your stream of course remove watermarks and if you have a custom master store you can add that too and much more things like you can have instant goal status and other things you can have everything but you have to go prime this wasn't there in the stream labs few months ago it was completely free to use any kind of feature but now you have to pay that sucks of course so that's the biggest change to stream labs so there you have it thanks for watching peace out See you in the next one.